Hey, I just wanted to show off some of the stuff that I got over at the GDGT LA show that I went to yesterday. Um, first off, when we walked in, we were able to get free t-shirt, which is pretty cool. Or you can get an iPhone 4 case. They also had some other cases for some other phones, but we ended up just getting this one. GDGT. It's pretty cool by Incipio. Feather Ultra Thin Case. And then we got also some stickers. Always fun. Now as far as the other vendors, the sponsors, we had there was a T-Mobile booth. They were giving out um paraphernalia like this, this monkey that um it's kinda like a slingshot. You kinda hold its arms, you pull its tail, and it goes flying and makes noise. They were all demonstrating about speed and everything like that. They had a, dra a raffle for a free phone that I did not win, unfortunately. It would be nice to have a new phone. Um, let's see, there was a gazelle booth, which is cool. We got one of these little warmer thingies and a thing. Plus a, a code for 5% bonus for whatever we turn in. We used our, our feature phones and they, they had like an iPad or something to look it up on their website. It was only worth 13 bucks. It kind of sucked. Um, let's see what else. Oh, also when we walked in, we got this iWow 3D. Um, let's see, what is it? It kind it hooks up to your iPod or iPhone or iPad on the back. And basically gives, transforms the sound into a lot, um, into a 3D sound of some sort. I haven't tried it yet, but, and I'm afraid it's not going to work on my Nano 2G, but I haven't actually tried it. Um, but it looks pretty cool. Hooks up to the bottom right here is the adapter and then plugs a, a regular 3.5 millimeter plug right here. Okay. There was a booth for G Technology. They had all these products on display right here. Now these are all made for Apple Macintosh stuff, so I was kind of bummed about that. But I did not ask if it would work with non PC de or non Mac devices. But this thing, I actually got to look at. This thing is the G Speed Q. It can do uh, RAID 0 or RAID 5. Has four drives. These are they comes pre-populated with these drives, and you can buy extra. So it's not like Drobo where you can stick in any drive. But the uh, I picked it up. It was really heavy and solid. It was nice aluminum finish. It has a, a low sp uh, a low speed fan to keep it quiet. But it looked really sweet. Uh, I don't know about price or anything, but it did have eSATA, FireWire 800, 400, USB 2.0. Unfortunately, not 3.0, but whatever. Um, it it still looked really nice. Um, there was a TP link. Uh, booth. This is one of the flyers. It, they were they were showing off this little mini. Um, what is this called? It's like a travel um, wireless access point, pretty much. You hook up your MyFi or whatever to it, or whatever modem you have. You hook it up, and then you basically have a, a little Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, it was really small. It was it was the size of a of a credit card, pretty much, and you can hold it in your hand. Um, a little thicker than a credit card, but in terms of of this size right here, um, they also gave out these really cool pens. Pretty nice, very cool pens. Always like the good pens. There was a Sonos booth. Um, they weren't giving out anything, but we grabbed one of these little flyers, and they actually showed off some of these things, like the Play Three, the Play Five. The Play Five sounded really nice. Um, that's a bad picture, but it had um, has a subwoofer, two tweeters, and uh, two something else I don't remember. But it really sounded really well, and they they showed off their um, they they had two iPads basically, but they have an app for Android also that you can control all the speakers wirelessly, and then you can if you have multiple Sono speakers, you can hook them up all into. Uh, Let's see, the same grouping and have them play all the same thing. It also has it for iPhone, too. Um, and it was really nice. 
how well it sounded and on the fly they would take it apart and ungroup the the speaker so that they could play different stuff on each one um, in terms of swag oh what's this was cool this is another thing see I, I didn't really get much stuff unfortunately but this was pretty cool this was a laser pico projector um, by show wx is that the company yeah probably but it basically hooks up to your ipod iphone ipad shows a, a nice laser display it's always in resolution because it's laser and it goes up to like a hundred inches but you can share whatever you're playing on your 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 device anywhere you're at and it looks pretty good so in terms of the actual show it was um, pretty interesting to see all these products in real life they had a windows 7 demo that was really cool um, they just showed off some regular mango phones they already have now but it was nice to actually see it in person and get the and get a nice sales pitch about it and it looked all really cool uh, let's see the there was a postcards on the run startup that was there they were always busy so we, I didn't actually get a chance to actually talk to them um, there was also a company called we video let me see if I can pull it up on my laptop really quick um, we video was really cool because it was a website where you can do collaborative video editing with other people and everything is done in browser basically so let's see if you can take a look at this now what was cool about it was that this their interface was really simple and really easy to use and it was very mm, let's see responsive even though it looked like everything was built in flash the the gentleman did mention flash but this interface was really cool um, it was just basically a timeline you can you could take videos and drop them in or music or whatever and just drop it on the fly and you could export it out to YouTube or whatever Vimeo accounts you have on hand that you hook up to it and, and he did have a Mac that was looked like it was pretty beefy so there might be some performance issues if I tried doing it on my little netbook right here but it looked so seamless everything's done in the cloud quote unquote it's done on their back end pretty much um, I didn't get a chance to ask if it was if he was using something like Amazon or Rackspace for it, but it was pretty sweet. Um, uh, when I was just trying to guy talk to the guy, every, new people would come in and interrupt all the time because they were just amazed at how cool this product was. They do have a free account um, for you can do one one gig of storage, um, 360p resolution, 15 minutes you can export 15 minutes per month pretty much and you can have five invites per project oh and you can also there's also 390 licensed for, uh, music fi titles you can use with your work but um, they have plus it's a premium model so they got commercial level they got ultra plus um, depending on what you want and even if you have one video that you want to export at really high definition you could actually just pay a one-time fee to export that one video. You don't have to sign up for the commercial or ultra brand to actually export that one video at 720p. Um, it was really cool. Everything, it was super fast. Um, so they probably got some heavy servers on the back end. Um, I didn't get a chance to meet Ryan Block, unfortunately. I do not know what he looks like in real life, I guess. I figured his avatars would give him away somehow you know looking for big sunglasses or that, that funky hat that he has um but if, as far as that that's, that's about it uh, we had to wait in line to get in but and there was uh, free soda and free water and you know we got a drink ticket if we wanted some alcohol um but we really had some fun um and that's about it so thanks for listening bye